Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Lee. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video today. Now today is very exciting for me because this is the first swimsuit video try on and review of 2021. Obviously really love clothes in general, but I love swimsuits. I love going to the beach, the pool, going on vacation, all things I can't really do right now. But that doesn't mean that I love swimsuits any less. I love to try them on. And as you know, I've tried loads of brands and a lot of cheaper, much more discounted swim, airy as like kind of the mid range. I've tried Black Bow, I've tried Zaffle and Shein, I've tried all kinds of different brands. Now this time I wanted to try something a little bit more premium. So for today's video we will be doing a try on and review of Toluca Swim which is Whitney Simmons swimwear line. Now it actually is a pretty cool company. It's owned by women. It is very size inclusive featuring swimsuits up to a 4XL and I think that it's very cute. When you see the pictures, they have a lot of patterns that have never been done before, cuts that are a little bit interesting and unique. So they're not just doing like your typical triangle bikini with tiny bottoms and that's it. They offer those as well, if that's what you're in the market for. But they have a lot of these more interesting swimsuits that seem to be cut with different women's body shapes in mind. They also sell bikini tops that are sized with like your actual bust measurements, which I find very helpful. Sometimes I find that like, I never know if I need a small or a medium. This way you literally just go with what your actual measurement is, which is very handy. Now, as we probably all know by now, I live in Canada. One thing I want to make very clear before you even go look at the Toluca Swim website, it's expensive. This one piece bathing suit that I have on cost, I think $150 Canadian. And then this little swim skirt that I have on over top was probably another $70, $80 Canadian. Very expensive. This is not somewhere where you're gonna go buy three or four suits that you wear once and never look at again, which I think, depending on who you are, I like to wear a lot of different swimsuits. I don't wanna wear the same one every single time. I could see that being an issue if I'm spending $150 Canadian on one suit. Now shipping to Canada is free. I think over $100 or $150, you're gonna spend that on one bathing suit. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. They do ship to some other places, obviously the US, which is where they're based from. So just take a look at their website and see if they ship to your country. Now shipping to me, I think it ended up taking about two and a half to three weeks total most of that time actually being the time it took for them to process my order. Now as a smaller company, that happens. They warn you right on the website that it's not going to get packed and shipped out to you the day you order it. For me, I don't love this, but they are a release based company, which means every single thing you see on the website, you either buy it today or you potentially never see it again. I know that a lot of companies have switched to this because it's much more profitable. It's more fun. You get to design new things every couple of months and release them. People buy all of it. And then there's a lot of pent up demand for your next release, but it feels very bad as a consumer. And I would consider myself to have borderline shopping addiction for every company you see to just be releasing new things like every, like four to five months and it being limited edition. So you feel like, oh my God, I have to have it. I'm here to tell you, you don't have to have it. But enough introduction, let's talk about the bathing suit. Now the latest release from Toluca Swim was called Palma and it featured this pattern along with like a eucalyptus sagey green color, a rusty orange coral color, and then black in all of the swimsuits all of the cover-ups, the wraps, the little clothing bits and bobs, which is cool. So everything is kind of mix and match. They all feature these same kind of colors. And I figured if I'm going to go for a one piece, 
I might as well get it in the pattern, the signature pattern of the collection. Really, really like this pattern. I think it's very cute with the big tropical leaves, the oranges, greens, whites. I personally really, really like it. Some people will probably find it to be a little bit much, and that's okay, they have lots of solids also. Now, as I mentioned before, this is actually a one piece that, as you can tell, is very high cut and then a swim skirt over top. Now these swim skirts are the NYX skirts. They are, in my opinion, innovative and also something that was needed in the swimwear space, especially by more like interesting and size inclusive brands. I personally could see myself wearing this a lot, even with other non-matching bikinis because this is something that you can actually wear into the water. It is true swimsuit material. So you could, you know, throw on your swim skirt to go get lunch after you've been kind of sunbathing in the morning. And then after lunch, if you wanna get immediately into the pool, you can. If you have maybe like a weird sunburn, like I always tend to get sunburned at the top of my legs, throw this on, you can still go swimming, you can still lie around in the sun, they're covered. I just think it's something very needed. Also, if you're a little bit insecure of your stomach or of your legs, you don't like how they look in a bikini or a swimsuit that you bought, no problem, you have a little skirt to throw on over top. Now, this skirt can also be cinched up on one side if you wanted it to be you know, shorter, you want it to be more of like a mini skirt look. And then of course you would just tie this up into a little bow. Now, like I said, I personally love it. I like it both at the longer length and at this like cinched up length. I think it looks very adorable both ways. And I do also like how having the skirt with the one piece top really does make it look like you're just wearing like a very cute patterned mini sundress. I'm into that. I think it's very cute. It might not be your thing, but let me know how you feel about the skirt. Now I'm going to very carefully take off the skirt so we can look at the one piece. All right, so this is the Ambrosia Midi one piece. Now they carried this same style of one piece in two different fits, the Midi and the Maxi. I went with the Midi, which was supposed to be like, slightly cheekier coverage, slightly higher leg, slightly higher leg. On me, <laughs> this feels small. And I got this in a size medium. I usually wear either a size small or medium in all bathing suits, but when I'm buying them from new companies, I always tend to size up to medium to make sure they aren't too small. You can do something with a swimsuit that is a bit too big, you can't with one that's too small. I would say this is borderline too small for my comfort level. Now, like I said, it has the super, super high cut. And one of the things that Whitney Simmons promised with this range, as you see me adjusting, is that your bits would remain covered no matter what. And I do believe that there is enough fabric here for the size medium that I will remain covered. Now, if you have a bit more going on in the lower belly to like fupa region, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if you would be covered by this. It is pretty small. It is like barely there coverage in my opinion, but if that's what you like, that's what you're into, this could be a great suit for you. Now it is, very, very cheeky at the back. If that is not something that you like, be aware. On me, this becomes almost like a thong as soon as I start walking and would definitely not be something that I would personally wear anywhere with kids, <laughs> anywhere with family. So this would probably be like a romantic vacation type of swimsuit where I'm going to an adults only place with my husband and it's not going to matter because it's all adults who are going to see me. I would feel kind of embarrassed wearing this in front of a lot of little kids. And let me preface that by saying, if I saw somebody else wearing this in front of my family, in front of kids, I couldn't care less. I would not feel 
bad about it. I wouldn't be mortified. It's just me personally and how I feel in it. I do feel a little exposed. Now it does come down pretty deep at the back as well. And then one thing that I do really appreciate about this bathing suit actually is inside here it does have like a built-in shelf bra. So there are actual cups in here that are molded cups that don't at least in my initial impression, seem to be like moving around a lot. They seem to be good. They are offering me a little bit of support where if I needed to like do anything in this bathing suit, I could. Now the ambrosia pieces also come with a little waist tie. So if you wanted to, you know, like have a little bit of something around your waist to kind of draw the eye there, show how small your waist is, you can do that. It's also fully removable, so you don't need to wear this if you don't want to. You could wear it tied up in a bow in your hair. You could just have it if you wanted to in case you wanted to throw it on or do something with it. But it is nice that they give you the tie and you can decide if you want to use it or not. It's not attached. Now for a $150 bathing suit, I would say I understand where the price is coming from, from a couple of things. First off, this is a print that they designed. They had to get custom made. I get that that's more expensive from a design perspective. This material is thick without feeling too thick. It's not the type of material that's going to leave you feeling like you're too hot or like it's hard to get on or off. It's not, it's very stretchy. It's very, very comfortable on your body. There are no seams that are digging into you anywhere. In her initial release of all the different pieces on her YouTube channels, one of the other things that Whitney really was sure to drive home is that all of these straps and pieces are no dig. They are lay flat seams that have been made to really lay on your body, not dig in and give you weird like lines or bumps or lumps where it's digging into you. I believe that. I don't find that it's digging into me anywhere, even on like the bigger parts of my butt where usually a bottom, if it was a little bit too tight, would be digging in. This is not. It's laying very flat. It looks really good and it feels very comfortable. Now, I guess this is the time of the video where I just want to say, especially now we've been in quarantine or lockdown for a lot of places for over a year. I know a lot of people as we come into spring always start thinking like, oh God, what have I done the last year? My body doesn't look how I wanted it for the summer. You're perfect how you are. I hate with burning passion and I don't use that word often. I hate the idea that you need to look a very particular way for men or women to wear a bathing suit, to wear a crop top, to go out in shorts. You don't. You're fine how you are. You look great. I have insecurities about my own body, just like you have them about yours. I have loads of stretch marks on my legs that got especially prominent when I started weightlifting a lot. I have one boob that's bigger than the other, like 99% of the women in the world. I have cellulite on my butt because you don't get an ass this big without cellulite on it. That's just a fact of life. So I would just like to say, if you're somebody who ever comments negatively about anybody else's body, male, female, it doesn't matter. We're all just people trying to do our best. We're all just trying to feel happy and live our lives. Seriously, keep those comments to yourself and truly introspectively think about why it matters to you what somebody else is wearing. Why does it matter to you if I have a stretch mark on my leg? Really? Does it affect your life? Because I don't think it does. Let's all just remember to treat each other with compassion and to put on the damn bikini. You're worth it. You deserve a cute swimsuit and you also still deserve to eat what you want to eat. So don't let anybody tell you differently. Now you'll have to let me know if you like this swimsuit and especially if you like the cut of it. I think that if it was like say a normal cut came to here, maybe even slightly high rise, but had a little bit more coverage in the front, I think I would personally wear it more often. With the amount of coverage that it has, 
Like I said, I think there are only very specific times that I would be able to wear it because I am pretty curvy and I think that that tends to make it look a little bit more hypersexual than it would if I were like shaped a little bit more like Whitney Simmons where she's like very tall, very long. I don't find that this very high cut looks quite so dramatic on her, I guess. Whereas me, I'm very hippie. I think it looks like very, very womanly, we'll say. Now with all of that out of the way, I really hope you enjoyed this video and the first swimsuit try on of 2021. I hope that I'll be able to deliver some more swimsuit realness and try-ons in the future. At this point, my content is pretty much planned out until I move to a new house on April the 10th. After that, you'll see me in a brand new space. I don't know where I'll be filming at the new house yet, but I hope that it will be cute and adorable and I can make it a little bit more customized than doing it in our spare bedroom. <laughs> Now, I hope that you have an amazing day and remember to feel good about yourself. And I hope that I will see you next week. Bye.